What is up my fellow Night Dwellers, Couch Command here, and today we are going to be trying to get textures to load into Skyrim. I was going to make this a video a while ago, however I could never get it to work. I tried the basic load loose files, I tried uninstall reinstall, I tried using a mod manager, I tried archive invalidation, I tried using Vortex. I did all of the tricks I've used in my different Game Pass videos so far to no avail, none of the textures would ever actually kick through. Well. The person who originally asked me to look at it, Rayhorn, ended up doing some digging without me and managed to find a potential way for this to work. So all credit goes out to Rayhorn and the person who originally created this article on how to do this, which I'd love to give credit to. However, YouTube has deleted the comment where Rayhorn told me who he was, which sucks. But the basic premise is because loose files will not load, no matter what you do with Game Pass, you instead pack them into a BSA and load the BSA file. So that is the route we're gonna go ahead and take and let's see if this works. Okay, let's start off with how you normally go about doing this with all the other Skyrim games. You just go into your mods folder of choice, your data folder, you'd go into your mod of choice. For this, we're using Vivid Landscapes, White Run, Grounds and Walls with or without Parallax. We're doing the without Parallax. So we've got this here. We're gonna go ahead and open the archive, grab these two folders, we're gonna extract them, and we have open our other folder, which is our data folder here. For Skyrim, we're gonna just copy them right into this location. Now we have the meshes and textures in here. Go ahead and go into the architecture of Whiterun. Here is probably the most defining thing. This is what the floors should look like. Let's go ahead and see what it actually looked like when we load up. All right. Let's go ahead and drop into Whiterun, which is where I have my latest save. And it just loaded them, all of them. Well, I guess this video is needed. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, we're gonna do it the other way anyways. So apparently they've actually fixed it where you can load the textures this way, but let's go ahead and try to do it the BSA way regardless. So we're going back to desktop. I'm gonna create a new folder called Vivid White Run, right? I'm gonna go ahead and go into the data folder here, grab the meshes and textures. We're just gonna cut these guys, paste them over here. Let's go ahead and load back into Skyrim real quick so we can actually get White Run when it's not looking how it should look. There we go. So here's plain old white run. How it looks without any texture mods. Apparently Microsoft is really trying to actually get this a lot more mod friendly because I want to say that was just a month ago I was trying to get this working for somebody and it won't load these loose files. But let's just keep on trucking along with this method here. So now we know what the mod will look like and what the mod looks like without it working. Let's go ahead and actually try packing this up. We're going to be using BS Arc, created by Zilva, to actually create our BSA from our file. I've got that guy downloaded already, so let's go into my downloads. And here's our BSA arc. I'm just going to go ahead and drop this on my desktop. All right. Now BSA arc runs by command line. So what you're gonna do is you're going to use 
I'm actually going to change the location of both of these now that I think about it because I don't want to deal with that location. So I'm going to create a new folder called temp in here. Oh, I got a folder called temp. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff. So new folder called temp. Let's go ahead and drag and drop both of these in here. The reason I'm doing that, it is far easier to navigate to the temp drive off the C than it is anywhere else. So I'm going to hit start CMD and it's just going to be CD C dot dot whack temp. Now we're in the temp location. So now we're going to use the bsearch exe with the archive command and parameters to actually archive our given file. So we're going to be doing bsearch exe first to run it. And here's the general information. So let's go ahead and do bsearch exe. Then it's going to be pack quote c dot dot whack temp whack vivid white run. And we're going to be calling it c quote c dot dot whack temp whack. And this is going to be vivid white run dot bsa quote. And we're going to be doing it for the Skyrim special edition. And we're gonna go ahead and compress and archive it. So let's see if that'll work. So we got our percentage there of how far it's made it. We've got our vivid white run BSA. So what we should be able to do after we're done is copy this BSA here that we just created. Go ahead and go over to our game pass location. Go into data and we're gonna go ahead and paste this BSA. I need to actually specify that it needs to load that BSA. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, here we go. Here's a list of all of our BSAs. It has been a minute since I've done this. I'm just gonna pack this guy at the very end. So we've got the Skyrim Texture 7 BSA, right? Let's go double check in here and make sure that's in this location. Skyrim Texture, yep, perfect, perfect. So right here at the very end where we've got the Skyrim Patch BSA. We're gonna go ahead and add in our new BSA, which is the comma. What I call that thing again? Vivid White Run. Yeah, Vivid White Run BSA. Vivid White Run BSA. Let's go ahead and save this guy. Close out of it, and let's go ahead and play Skyrim again. Maybe there's something more I'm supposed to do with this. Let's go ahead and just copy one of Skyrim's BSAs. Actually, let's copy this BSA here. Let's go ahead and copy the Skyrim Texture 8, which is, actually I'm gonna grab the Texture 6. It's one of the leaner BSAs, and I'm gonna unpack it. So go ahead and paste it here. And we're going to unpack and we're just going to call this Skyrim text six 
for the folder. And this is going to be Skyrim dash texture. And we don't need the Z on it or the SE, I guess. So let's go ahead and remove these two and see what this looks like. Right click, new folder, Skyrim text. Lowercase s. Okay, so yeah, it just does textures like this. So by all accounts, that should have worked. I must have messed up something in the load. Because it's not doing anything. Like, I've got my textures and meshes. I don't think those have to be separate, so I don't think there's anything unique about that. And I think I've got the pack about right. S archive section. I might have been adding them to the wrong location. Let's go ahead and open this up again. S archive location. Jesus. Okay, let's go ahead and try one more time. With it being in the archive memory version. Because, hey, let's just keep stabbing until something actually bleeds, right? So, next step up is we're going to try to do the empty ESL and ESP. I mostly don't care about the ESL, I just want the ESP, but this is by Inlac. And all it is is using the advantage of any ESP you select should automatically let you load. By renaming it the same. Right click, paste this guy. And then let's go ahead and copy this empty ESP over. Right click and rename this vividwhiterun.esp. All right, now let's go ahead and try launching the game. This is a whole lot of work to just get this to work when it's already working. The fact is it could break again and there is always the opportunity that things might not work. So we're gonna just try this route to see if we can get it to go. So let's go ahead and go to mods. And let's try to go to load order. And we're looking for that ESP I created, Vivid White Run ESP. So let's go ahead and enable that guy. This is promising, this is promising. There we go, huh. success. I know you're not going to tell this when you watch the video, but this was about an hour of me messing with this thing to finally get this to load outside of loose files. Which seems like a lot of work, not going to lie, because currently loose files are working. But in the event that they stop working again for any reason, and you want to go this route, or you just want to, you know, compress them down and save yourself some space instead of doing all loose files and go the BSA route, this is how you're going to do it. The steps are not the simplest, and there might be a little bit disjointed at this point. But the basic steps are you are going to use BSA Arc and the texture files to create a zipped BSA. It has to be less than 2 gigabytes. If you're using any audio files as far as this goes, you have to not compress it. If you are using just textures and meshes, you can compress it. 
That's what the Z, arc, Z option is on BARC. Once you have the compressed BSA, go ahead and drop it into your Skyrim data folder. Grab the ESP, the MTSB from NLAC, drop that over into the data folder as well. Rename the ESP to be the same as your BSA. Go ahead and kick on the game, go into your mods, go ahead and select and enable the given ESP that you just created. It'll load up your BSAs and you're good to go. That is how you can convert loose files into a BSA and load them into Skyrim via Game Pass. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions for other games and mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at Couch Command, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord, links at the top of my channel page, or over my About Me. Make sure you join the Discord anyways, because I do have some private servers that I just let you guys play on. For instance, right now I've got Satisfactory and Don't Starve Together both running up on private servers, and you guys are welcome to try them out and have fun. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button if this helped you out. Comment down below on how pointless this was since loose files were working at the start, but you know what? You got to see me dick around with it for like 15 minutes, so I hope you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel for more weekly mining content. Also, special shout out to Rayhorn. Thanks for even hitting me up with this. The idea helped. Gave me something to do. Have some fun and learn a little more about Skyrim. I hope you enjoyed the content. You all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.